living room. I had a little bit of a play around yesterday with some of the cubes because I had basically two that were half empty. So I've loaded those all up into the same one and ended up with this cube uh, free, which is my Savannah fabrics. And I have the linen chambre, the viscose jersey and the cotton drill in there. And then I've pulled out all the other fabrics in my stash that I want to pair with that. When I go to the Festival of Quilts later this month, I am going to be looking for ginghams, spots and stripes that will work in with this colour palette so I shall be taking a swatch of Savannah with me. I may even wear my Savannah dress because then I won't need to take a swatch. I can just hold things up to myself and see if they go. But I've um, put a whole sort of board together on Pinterest which I will try and show you here. I really like the idea of subtle prints. Like there's some embroidered green cotton that I think would look really good with either a shirt if it's stiff then I can make a skirt out of it so make a shirt or a t-shirt out of the savannah or vice versa if it's drapey enough make a, a t uh, like a top and then the the linen chambray I want to make trousers out of no in fact the visco uh, the, the cotton drill I'm going to make trousers out of the viscose crepe I'm going to make a dress out of and then the linen chambray I'm not sure what I'm going to do with but by then I will also have the viscose that they've just released as well so I've got, I, I have lots of kind of thoughts about how to pair those colours together. There's some really nice kind of gold, old gold colours in there. This is a raw silk that I've got here. Some green chambray linen from Showers in a plain colour that I'm going to do a colour block dress with because I have some leftover cotton lawn in this bit. I also have some of the Lena crepe left over in this bit so I might line a waistcoat with that. So I've got some really fun ideas for August. That's the sort of thing that I'm going to be looking for when I go to the Festival of Quilts. My plan of action is I'm going to go to Stitch Fabrics stall and have a look and see what they've got because I can imagine that I will end up with kind of a loud print from them. There's this one, this green one that I really, really want, and I'm hoping they bring it to the Festival of Quilts with them. I'm hoping there's some left by that time and they bring it with them. There's also a couple of rayons, rayon linen blends with tigers on them that I also really want. I, I, I'm, I'm planning on buying one loud print that just doesn't go with anything in my future plans but then the rest of the fabrics I want to get from the Festival of Quilts will be stuff that goes in with this collection so I'm really excited about that. If I don't find any at the Festival of Quilts I am not just going to buy every print that I see. I'm telling myself this now because as I say I've gone through and had a look at different fabric stores that I love like uh, La Mazzi, Sew Me Sunshine, uh, Sherwood Fabrics, McCulloch and Wallace and I have found perfect fabrics from them so if I can't find them at the Festival of Quilts I'm gonna buy them online but I want to see what I can get at the Festival of Quilts first. I'm really excited about August's plans if you can't tell and August's plans will work really in really nicely with the Pirate Capsule collection as well. Some of the solid ones from there are going to work in really well with the the prints and stuff that I've got in that so it's it's going to all tie in really nicely. But today I am going to start tackling the 9345. I have the tie front shirt back there and then I also have my goldfish fabric. So I'm going to start with the goldfish fabric dress first because I really want to get it sewn up. I'm excited to see how it's going to come out. I want to wear it. It's more involved. It's going to take me probably a day and a half to get this sewn up I think. So I'm going to, I've cut out all the interfacing for the shirt and the shirt dress. Just got that done. I am going to start sewing together the skirt panels so that I can hang them up and they can start dropping on the bias if they're going to. Other, let's see, the other three, I actually just hemmed them pretty much immediately and they haven't dropped on the bias. So we'll see. There is a lip that, because it is a curved sort of half circle skirt that goes onto this dress. It Technically it should, and this is the drapiest fabric of the lot that I've made them out of, so we'll see. We shall, in fact, is it? Yes, it is. The other two are kind of more viscose crepes, and this is a viscose chalet, so it's really lightweight. So I'm gonna start getting that all sewn up, which is really exciting. We'll see how that goes. Wish me luck. Fingers crossed. I end up with a beautiful dress in the end. I really hope so, because otherwise, I mean, I've still got two and a bit meters of fabric left, but that's not enough really for a dress. That would have to be a shirt. But yeah, I've done it now. I've cut into it. There's no, there's no going back. <laughs> Wish me luck. Six hours later. I am actually quite surprised by how far I've got today. The hem is definitely going to need leveling fun times. Got the dress pretty much finished. It just needs buttons and buttonholes. 
and hemming but I have decided that I want orange shell buttons for this which I have ordered as I don't have any in stock but I think it's going to look really really pretty I'm very pleased with how this is coming out Hey peeps, happy Thursday, welcome back to the sewing room. I didn't really finish off yesterday's vlog because all I did was start talking to you and then show you how far I got with the dress. The uh, hem is doing crazy things, so I'm glad that I've not finished off that. I don't know how I got away with it in my other dresses, but you never, you, you, there you go, one of those things. So I will be leveling that out at some point. That dress has a waist seam, so I find those much easier to level. I lay them flat on a table. I measure from the waist seam down to the shortest point, the bit that's not on the bias, and then just take that marking all the way around the rest of the dress. That one is uh, gonna gonna stay, stay up there for a little while, because like I say, I have ordered some orange shell buttons, which I hope are the right colour. If they're not, I will you get some scraps out and make self-covered buttons out of the stripy part of the fabric, just because I think that would look the best. I'm really pleased with how that's come out, which is great because as you guys know, I was really nervous about cutting into that fabric. So I now have the shirt version of that dress in this quilting cotton. I had enough to cut out the dress the 8947 which I still haven't hemmed because every time I go back to mine to do it Chiana sits on my lap and I can't get at it so I haven't hemmed that yet but I will get that done probably tonight or tomorrow so I've got the shirt to get on with today and then that's the last thing that I've got left from the last cutting out session I still have this Tasuti Camilla Cami which I cut out probably about a year ago now I think I've told you guys before like I'm putting this off because in my head it's the perfect cami and when I make it up it's either going to be that or it's not going to be that and if it's not that I will be disappointed <laughs> so in my head it's more sensible to leave it as a piece of fabric or cut out pieces of fabric than it is to actually make it into the thing and see. I have no idea why my brain thinks that's logical, but it does. But yeah, once this shirt's cut out, I can then start cutting out a whole bunch of more things, which I'm really excited about. I've got the Anna dress, the Shelby dress, the Doris dress. They're all going to be new ones to try. The McCall's 7... 940 6740 I think it is I think it's a 6 starting because it's that old the pattern but I have done all the alterations to that made a muslin and I know that fits I'm excited about that one I've got the all I've got my 10 meters of viscose lining which has turned up so I have no ex no excuses for not getting any of those those ones cut out now so there's going to be some wins in there for sure and some experiments. I'm gonna tweak the Empire waist trousers just a little bit, just so they're a little higher over the waist. I'm gonna cut those out of some denim because I really want some denim trousers. <laughs> I don't want jeans. I mean, I, no, I don't want, <sighs> do I want jeans? I want a very specific type of jean, but I don't think it's actually going to suit me the way that it's, the, the, the pictures that I've seen that I like, I don't have that figure. So whilst I love the idea of those jeans, I don't think they're going to look quite as good on me. But I do like the idea of some denim trousers. So <laughs> I'm persevering. I am persevering. I could, I also have lots of this. Oh, actually, yeah. Um, I'm wearing my Jungle Tropics Vogue 9357 skirt today. It has the giant pockets on it, yes. That's me otherwise, but I, this is the canvas, t no, the um, the twill fabric, cotton twill with some elastane in it. I like this print so much that I made this skirt up in it, and I also then went back and bought another two and a half meters to make trousers out of. It's a really, really nice fabric. It does have, like I say, a little bit of stretch. It's got some nice structure. It has the twill texture, so the sort of like denim look to it. And I have quite a few prints with this, <laughs> this, this particular type of fabric. I've got one of these, one of these pieces of savannah here is that fabric. I've got the foliage canopy, anaconda, anaconda antithesis, and cobra corsage. Anacon um, yeah, jungle tropics, cobra corsage, anaconda antithesis, and the foliage canopy. And I really want to make trousers out of them. I love this skirt, and don't get me wrong, like all of the other ones would look great as this skirt as well, but I would like some trousers. And as I said the other day, I've got it in my head that trousers should be a slightly heavier weight of fabric. Whether that be like a sort of like a drapey crepe like this one. Loads of you guys keep telling me that I ought to t turn these, this crepe into the Decades of Style Empire trousers as well. I'm, I'm willing to give it a go because I can get more of this crepe. I mean, I can't get more of this exact crepe, but I can get more 
royal sort of like mm, it's kind of i was convinced it's purple but next to this purple file folder it's kind of looking more royal blue we'll see we'll see who knows <laughs> who knows but yes I'm, I'm coming up to my next cutting out session which should give me another sort of 10 projects all of the ones that I said that I wanted to get done this month I think the only one that I'm not going to cut into is my Robert Kaufman railroad denim because that's 26 pounds a meter and I want to make sure that I'm 100% happy with whatever a pattern I'm cutting out for that so that might be the only one I don't actually get to this month but the rest of them I'm excited about and then I'm going to have another giant piece of like one of these cubes half of this half of one of these cubes will then be cleaned out of fabric which will mean I can move some other fabric down and I'll have an entire cube empty and it's going to stay well no it's not going to stay empty I'm going to move over some of my pdf patterns that I have traced out over because as I've mentioned my plan is to whittle down the stash move the fabric this way so I keep the fabric background but start storing more patterns down that end because my bookcase with my patterns in is full to capacity there is no more room in there I'm going to keep tracing out new patterns and stuff so there needs to be somewhere for them to go so that's the plan wish me luck <laughs> wish me luck not buying more fabric <laughs> so far this year I am sewing faster than I'm buying fabric which is good like I have bought a few lengths of fabric specifically from salvage and bolt dibs I am looking at you it's all your fault <laughs> we keep she put up some beautiful Dolce and Gabbana patchwork fabrics the other day one was a cotton silk one was a pure silk oh I was sorely tempted and I kept refreshing the page just watching the um the stock level go down and down and down and then it got to a point where it's like that's not enough for what I want to make out of it anyway so I couldn't have it. I, I, I sat there for an hour watching the stock level go down so I could have got some but my, my self-restraint was strong because I really want to have some money to spend at the Festival of Quilts. I really do and as you guys know I've um, spent a, a nearly sort of £400 on Chiana's vet bills. That's a large chunk of my fabric spending money gone so I'm trying to be good. I am trying. I am trying. I want to, I am sewing faster this year than I'm buying fabric, which is not like me. How much fabric have I bought this year? I bought the Dolce & Gabbana banana leaf from Selvage & Bolts. I bought the Dolce & Gabbana patchwork fabric from Selvage & Bolts. I bought the viscose from Stitch Fabrics and I bought the viscose linen from Dragonfly Fabrics. I haven't shown you guys that one, have I? Would you like to see? Two secs. I mean, how could I not? It is beautiful. And I got five meters of this and they do it on a navy background as well. And I talked to my sister-in-law, I was like, look, they do it on blue, but she actually bought the white one. I am planning a collection around this because I really like it. So I want to make some white dresses with the leafy applique embroideries that I've told you about. There's some kind of like yellowy and golds in here. So it's gonna work really well with some of the other pieces that I'm gonna make. I am running out of a year to uh, do this in because this is the next collection I'm working on. And then I wanna finish my pirate capsule collection. So this will be the first, my spring collection next year but I couldn't not buy it so <laughs> and then I got the coral viscose the red viscose and the white viscose so I bought seven lengths of fabric this year which given the my usual rate is pretty oh and I also bought um these three plain cottons so 10 pieces of fabric this year but given my usual rate of fabric purchasing I think that's pretty good. I think I'm growing as a human. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 as I've mentioned yesterday, there's going to be a spending orgy around the Savannah print at the Festival of Quilts, or if not on the Festival of Quilts, the fabrics that I found online for that. Just to add a, a, a little bit, because I've otherwise it's just all planes and then the one print. I just want to add a little bit more interest to that collection. I feel I, I feel like I you know I feel like I'm growing as a human as I've just said. I've been doing alterations willingly, not been buying as much fabric, and I've been sewing from my stash. Definitely evolving into a higher level of my own self. <laughs> what does how Pokemon evolve, don't they? Yeah, definitely evolving into a higher level Sean. <laughs> Anyway, that was 11 minutes of random random waffle. So I'm going to get on with sewing this shirt. This is, as I say, the 9345 with the Butterick 5951. That's the dress. 5985? That's the, that's the one. I'm going to sew this mashup of those two. And I've just moved the little hole and the tie front down a bit. So hopefully it won't be quite as 
you know like here is a giant hole in the middle of my shirt as the leopard print blue leopard print one was but I still think that's gonna look with look good with high-waisted trousers which I need to make so 12 minutes of waffle <laughs> I'm gonna shut up and get on with some sewing. Three hours later. Okay, I have finished my shirt and I am so much happier with this version. I do like my other version, but the, the, the gaping hole at the middle was not what I was going for. For this one, I still left like a little, and I realize it doesn't go with my skirt. I've left like a, still there's a still curve in there, but I moved everything down a little bit more. And I think that's much, much nicer and I really like how it looks. I have also used bias binding on the armholes because I didn't have enough to cut out sleeves. I really like this. Again, not with this skirt, obviously. But this was gonna look really good with my de red denim one of this skirt. It will look good with my blue denim one of this skirt as well. So I'm pleased with that, which means that I can cut out my version out of my hydrangea story fabric. I've got quite a lot of this left so I might actually, if there's enough, sorry I keep cutting my own head off don't I? Hang on. I need to measure and see how much of this I actually have left because if there is enough then I might try and do a dress with it rather than a shirt. In fact, give me a second because I have marked on my table one meter so that I can measure fabric so two secs. Right, I've got just over two and a half meters of this fabric left. So I could do something like the 5209, possibly. I could do a sleeveless version of the 5951 that you guys saw me replace the zip on the other day. I could, ooh, what could I do with this? Because two and a half meters, so my that means that my grey dress with the tiered skirt only took two and a half meters because I had five of this. So that's good to know because that dress is another favourite of mine, and I haven't, I haven't worn it yet because it's not really been warm enough to wear it. But that that bodes well because that means I can get that dress out of some of my smaller cuts of quilting cotton as well. Ooh, ooh, possibilities. So yeah, two and a half meters of my hydrangea story. I don't want to do like the big bishopy sleeved shirt with it because I don't think it's going to drape as nicely. It will be a it would be way more of a statement and I do like those shirts but I don't think I'd like them on me. What else could I do with it? I mean I totally could make this shirt and put the little sleeves on it. I would probably then have enough left for something else but I don't know what the something else would be because it's like I said it's cotton lawn so it's not super drapey so I couldn't do one of the like uh, woven t-shirts that I've been doing because I don't think it would look right. So maybe a dress, maybe another dress. Would I wear another dress? Maybe I should do a long sleeve shirt out of it because this does come with a fitted long sleeve or I could steal the, the long sleeve from the 9077 dress because I really like that. Oh I don't know, two and a half meters of fabric, what would you do with it? Because I really, I do really like this shirt and I like that there's more like moving room in this one than there is in the Gertie shirt and don't get me wrong I love the Gertie shirt and I will wear those as well but this is just a nice change from from that one so yeah I don't know what do you think oh I used red buttons you can't really tell they kind of blend in don't they but I do like them I'm really yeah I'm really pleased with how this has come out let me know in the comments down below what you would do with two and a half meters of cotton lawn bearing in mind that I do have a dress in this fabric already I mean I could make one of these shirts with the short sleeves and then I could use the rest possibly to line a bag could use it to line a waistcoat I could use it to line a denim jacket as long as I used a slippery fabric for the sleeves then I don't mind lining bodies of jackets in non-slippery fabrics and I've done that before with some cotton silk and it looks really nice so I could do that because I do want to make a denim jacket and I'm hoping I'm gonna have enough of this left to make a denim jacket and if I don't oh that's another fabric I bought this year isn't it there's me waxing lyrical earlier about I only bought 10 and I bought 11 because I bought that denim as well but I am working through my stash <laughs> you know what unless one of you guys comes up with uh well oh hang on because you're not going to see this until after I start cutting out but it takes me a couple of days to cut out so I can start cutting out the hydrangea story later so yeah let me know in the comments what you would do with two and a half meters of cotton lawn it's 140 wide that's not another dress 
yeah because I wanted to make one of these shirts that I could then put over the top of my grey dress for a little bit more coverage if I wanted that from that dress hmm I think I think I'm leaning towards making one of these shirts with the short sleeves that are turned back and then using the rest to make bias binding and to possibly line my denim jacket because I think that would look really nice I think that's what I'm going to do unless any of you guys come up with a better idea and if you do let me know in the comments down below so I am going to start cutting some of this out hmm because there's quite a lot in there that's going to be needing to be traced first although there's a couple that don't need tracing so maybe I'll cut those out we shall see anyway I hope you've enjoyed the last couple of days I am very pleased with my last couple of makes very very pleased cannot wait for this one to be finished but waiting for buttons to arrive to put those in and then hem it as we talked about earlier because it's it's gone very wavy very pleased with that love this love the 9345 pattern really really like it this next time of um cutting out i am going to work out how i can extend these bottom pieces to i only want it to come to kind of like here i don't want it to be super super long because i just want to be able to tuck it into longer trousers or wear it under a dress because i want to use drapey fabric so that i can have the giant sleeves for wearing under things like my 8997 i think that that's one of the reasons I made that dress is to work very, to channel my inner Morgan dollar. I think this shirt would be great for that because it's very skimming and I, all of my other shirt patterns have got way more ease in them and that's probably for really good reasons but I, I do think this is going to make a great shirt. Slightly longer, just kind of to about here so I can wear it under things. Anyway, that was a lot more waffle, wasn't it? Sorry, nine minutes of waffle. So I hope you've enjoyed my day and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye!